right, this is a homemade bearing press. So you get a bolt that's about as long as the job you need to do, so longer or shorter. You don't want to get one that's too long for your socket set. So if you get one that's super long and then you try to screw the nut down on it and you run out of uh, depth in your socket, that's bad. So you get a bolt, you get a nut, you get washers that are bigger or as big as the outer bearing surface. So in this case, the washers are big enough to push the bearing in and they're big enough for the other side as well, the inner side of the case. So you put, take your bolt, put your washers on it, then you save your other washers and your other nut, you put the bolt through the thing that you're working on, and put the bearing in it, put your washers on the other side and clamp the nut down. Now if you're working on something like perhaps a bicycle bottom bracket like this one here and you don't want to bang up the paint or damage it you can put a neoprene washer in between the metal washer and the case in this case this is an inner transmission case on a motorcycle and nobody's going to see it so i'm just going to go metal on metal and screw it down and then some hot fire helps so if you if you heat it up before you press it in just try not to burn yourself that will expand the hole a little bit to make it easier to go in. And then if you're pressing bearings, usually one end of the bearing has a taper to it and the other end doesn't. So you want to put the tapered in first going inside and that makes it easier to get into the hole. Put the bearing in the right way around like that. Try to get it in straight to begin with so you've got a good start. You put the nut on the back. I've got blocks of wood in the vise, so I'm not beating up the metal on the actual case. And voila, there you go, new bearing.